All right, we are now joined by one of the many heroes today for Seton Hill, freshman Jack Whalen. Freshman of the year in the conference, and it seems like each and every game, I was waiting to see if you hit a wall. It never came to this point. How have you been able to be so good from the start all the way through your first year? I just think starting off so hot just helped me, and then, you know, like, I have some, like, ups and downs, but, like, my downs were just not not so far down, so just, like, continuing the success that I had and just, like, building off of that, and everything just happened to go well. One of the uh, ups came yesterday with a defensive play that you made that I'm sure a lot of people have seen now, including anyone who watches Sports Center, is number one on the top ten year catch out in center field. It's actually the third straight year that a center fielder for Seton Hill has made it on Sports Center second straight that has been number one. Take me through that play, how you were able to make it, and then all the uh, accolades that you've gotten since then. So uh, whenever the ball was hit, I. I thought it was, uh, so I started off running towards right side of the field and then it started tailing because it was a lefty. So then I started running back and then Max was yelling fence and I didn't, I didn't even hear it because I was too zoned into the ball and then I just, I, I knew I had to leap to get in and I, I didn't know I got that high after seeing the picture but <laughs> I got up there and I was able to watch it go in my glove. How many messages did you messages did you get after that especially after it made the number one play yeah i was i was getting tons of messages from my family members all my friends you know they were they were they were all uh happy for me it was cool to see did you uh happen to hear from either orndorff or mcdermott i uh orndorff actually tweeted out and he replied to uh, i think it was your guys tweet and uh he was like uh this, this guy is real good or something like that and i was like yeah i just learned from the best uh let's talk about today because you get Another chance of mercy, Hurst, after how things ended on Friday with them winning in the walk-off. I'm sure you kind of wanted to see them again. You got the opportunity by winning yesterday. You had to win both today. You did. How sweet was that? Um, our, uh, our pitching really helped us that first game. We had a couple good innings uh, the, sec- uh, the first game. And then going into the second game, we knew we only had to win one more. And we started off really hot. And I feel like once we started off that hot, they, they were dead since the beginning of the game. And just able to... We didn't even have to score the last couple innings, even though we'd like to, but we just started off so hot that they, they just were out of the game. How did your team mentally bounce back after Friday? Um, we we uh, Coach Maz talked to us after the game, and he said, either way, we had to beat Mercier's twice, assuming that if, if we beat them Friday that they were going to w- beat East Stroudsburg. So we had to beat them twice anyways, and it just happened that we beat them twice today. I know... Uh, you see a lot of former Norwin Knights that you go against, especially on Mercyhurst. Bazale is a great player, Chorba as well, and you've got a couple teammates, obviously Owen Sable, Paramount. How awesome is it to see so much success from your high school? It's, it's pretty cool because, you know, you at practice every single day with those guys in high school. You're building relationships with them, and then w- once you go separate ways, it just happens to be a, a, a rival, and um, it's just you're still happy for them, seeing them succeed and everything, and just coming from the same high school. We talk so much about uh, your defensive play, but how about the fact that you've set a new conference record for stolen bases as a freshman? What has been the key to that success? Um, I just I'm able to read the pitcher's leg lifts and uh, timing whenever I'm on second pretty well. And uh, like I said in the last interview we had, I said I I want to make it on Sports Center, and then I also said that I like stealing bases, and I think I've accomplished both of those. There's still more to accomplish for you and for the team because now you head to the Super Regional. You're going against a pretty good team in Millersville. They're the number one seed, so you're going to have to play at Millersville. What's going to be key? Um, continuing our success, uh, same things we've been doing. You just got to rely on our, our pitching and um, our hitting have to combine together, get off to a good start, and just doesn't matter who we're playing. We've got to play the same way. Lastly, I know you got to focus on the next round, but uh, how long do you get to enjoy this? Uh, we're going to enjoy it tonight, then we're going to probably have an off day tomorrow, and then we're going to be back to work, practice, and everything. Jack, thanks so much for doing this. Congrats. Go enjoy it. Thank you. That's Jack Whalen.